coach is going to win with an opening statement? Yeah, I, I just want to open with uh, just how pleased I was with the crowd tonight. Uh, our players and coaches really appreciate it. They were loud. They were engaged. They were into the game. And it, it clearly made a difference with our energy level. And, you know, I just, I'm really appreciative and very thankful for their effort tonight. Fran Payton just came out. It seemed like he was uh, firing on all cylinders. And by product, or excuse me, by way of that, your entire team was. So did yeah, you see it that way? He was great. The thing that was impressive to me, when he gets cooking like that, Teams adjust in terms of how they're guarding him. They started face guarding him. They started holding him uh, and being physical with him, you know, which is what anybody would do. That's what coaches do. You get, you know, put one of your better, quicker guys. And so he just kept screening and moving uh, and getting people open. And by virtue of how they were guarding him, other people were open. Patrick comes in, hits a three. You know, everybody's open because this guy's on fire. And, uh, and he just bided his time in the second half when he got open. He had, he had some other big shots. But the other thing he did, 12 rebounds, he went to the offensive glass, which is really smart because they're face guarding him. So he's got inside position automatically, and he understands that. And that makes a difference in the game. Kansas State cut it to three um, early in the second. You call it a timeout. What was the message? Uh, it was pretty direct. Uh, the, 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 the crux of it was this. In the first half, we really did a good job moving the ball. And we were in the bonus early. And in that portion of the game, we were quick shooting the ball. And in and of themselves, they weren't horrible shots. Like Josh had the elbow jumper, Tony had a drive. Uh, somebody else shot one, I forget who it was. but. Nobody was on the glass. It's one pass shot. It's one ball screen, and somebody shoots. And that wasn't the game plan. We wanted them to stay on defense and get the ball moving side to side and drive and kick and shot fake and move it in and out. And that's what we did as the half went on. And it's hard sometimes because, as you guys know, I give my guys freedom. I don't tell Josh Dix, don't shoot an elbow jumper. He's usually money. But in that situation, don't shoot an elbow jumper. You know, Tony, don't shoot a double clutch drive in that situation. And they're hitting threes, they're getting to the rim, they're cooking, their energy level's high, the bench is into the game. We need longer possessions and we need to get, get the ball in the basket or get a foul. Because if you know, in the second half, we didn't get to the bonus until late. And that's because of how we were quick shooting the ball early. The all season, you guys have been a versatile offensive team. You know, there's been multiple players that step up. And like tonight, in the first half, it was Payton. Obviously, he ended with 30. But uh, the Kansas State coach, I'm not familiar with his name, but he came up and said they made a point of emphasis in the second half to slow him down. And, you know, they did that a little bit. But Ben Cricky really stepped on 21 of his 24 in the second half. Just kind of talk about how he. Was yeah, Ben got off to a bad start. Uh, and that. that that's why he's special, you know. And then he got, you know, and took him out and calmed down. But, you know, the most impressive thing about him is, you know, he can always get 24. It's, it's, it's 11 rebounds. Uh, early in the year, he was not rebounding, and I've challenged him, and he has made a concerted effort from that point forward. And, you know, that's just maturity. That's what the really good players do. So I'm really proud of him. He was great. Patrick was great in the first half. Lodgy with a big three. Owen gets in foul trouble. Uh, he was huge, and you know, you, you know, and then Josh got cooking a little bit later. What can you say about the competitive spirit? Obviously, both of these teams wanted to play this game and enjoyed playing this game and really went at it. Well, you know, you look, you look at their team, and, and they had a terrific season—19 wins in a league that has nine teams in. Uh, they beat Baylor, they beat Kansas, they beat Iowa State. Now they lost to those teams too, but. But they beat them, and they've got a lot of great wins. They've got an excellent coach. You know, Jerome was he was a national coach of the year last year. So I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's been around, and 
they got a lot of new guys that they had to put together. And they play together. They play hard. They play defense. They rebound. And you're right. I mean, both teams wanted to be here. Both teams competed. Both teams played hard. And we're thrilled for the opportunity to play in such a prestigious event. And we're very proud to continue to play. Frank, you touched on Ben Kirky a little bit. But um, you know, Owen got in foul trouble, I think, when, when Kansas State was cutting into the lead. Ben hits that big corner three, has that big offensive rebound. I mean, just from his confidence standpoint, Payton's kind of made a point of emphasis for Ben to keep his head up. But for Ben to execute in the clutch like that, I mean, this is basically what you expected when he got yeah, on campus. Yeah, it is. And you know, he's been great all year. But tonight, he was, he was really special. You're right. I mean, he was special in a number of different levels. You know, big buckets, big rebounds, a couple of defensive stops. Somebody had to take the pressure off Peyton. You know, when they were when they were face guarding him, front screening him. You know, Josh and Tony were driving the ball. You know, you look at Owen and and he made a couple of mistakes. You know, he had four turnovers, and you know we can be down on him, but you know he gets ten and six in 18 minutes as a freshman against a really big, strong physical team. So, you know, I made the point to praise him, even though I was upset with him in a couple of things because he was fiddling with the ball inside a little bit. They were coming on him. He'll have to learn with that, and he'll get better. Peyton indicated that, I guess, Josh got banged up in the Illinois game, played through against so Ohio State. Just how is he doing physically? Well, Josh and Tony both uh, really didn't practice before the Ohio State game. You know, Tony was a fluke. When he tried to dunk the ball in the Illinois game, he smashed, smashed his arm on the, on the rim, and it swelled up. He couldn't even shoot the ball for two days. But he couldn't dribble the ball the first day. The second day, he couldn't shoot. Josh's hip was bad. You know, Shannon went to block the shot and fouled him, and he landed, smashed his hip into the basket stanchion. But those two guys, you know, they got after it in the, in the training and were able to play against Ohio State. But they were better today physically, and that was important. Will you know where you're playing at midnight <clears throat> next game? We'll know where. We don't necessarily know which day. I mean, I think if, if we play here, it's Sunday. If we play uh, in Utah, it'll be Saturday or Sunday. I know that. And, and it might not be, you know, I don't know. It was Last I heard it was Ty. I apologize. Um, Sorry. For, for Peyton, you talked about you were impressed and proud of him for going into screening in the first half when they really started face guarding him. I mean, how much of a product is that his just progression as a player? Because maybe early Peyton would have threw up a heat check, but I can't remember him taking a bad he shot. He took tonight. one heat check, you know, and he has, he has the green light to do that, especially when he was cooking the way he was in the first half. But, uh, yeah, he might have been hunting shots more when he was younger. Uh, but, uh, you know, tonight he was a screener and he was a cutter. And he was a rebounder. And he got some big rebounds when we needed him. Is he at all in a different place over the last five, six games? I mean, as far as elevation of his game? I, know, I just think he kept getting better, Mike. I mean, he, he was pretty good at the start of the year, pretty good all year, pretty consistent. Uh, I will say, you know, to go along with your point, it's, it's harder to continue to get better when teams are focusing their defense on stopping you. It makes it a lot harder. So from that standpoint, it is impressive. Fran, to talk a Last little question. bit more about that hot start for you guys, Pey I think Peyton and Ben both said they could kind of feel it uh, between the guys in the locker room. Did well, no question. And you know what's funny? We, you know, we, we, we missed some shots early. We, we could have had a bigger lead. Uh, you know, we, we were getting stops and run outs, and we missed some, some easy ones. and. Uh, but you're right. I mean, the energy level was there. The maturity was there. The, the focus and concentration was there. The respect for the other team was there. And that's what you have to have this time of year. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Brad. Thank you.